Yeah, I'm stealing all your eyes. We need that ice. <laughs> Why do you need it? Because it has to you go on the marble. Some. You can have some, and I'm going to put some on the marble. Are oh, you making fudge? We're making yeah. fudge. Ah. <laughs> Save some for me, kid. Yeah, we'll have a lot. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop moving so I can focus. Okay. Hey guys, I'm Rydell. I'm Stormy. We are back in the kitchen. <laughs> and today we're going to show you how to make homemade fudge, which is absolutely amazing. And it's kind of a. Uh, it's kind of. The ice is dropping. <laughs> is it done? It's kind of an intricate recipe, so make sure you follow along closely. This is my Mamu's recipe. She's sitting over there giving us directions. <laughs> you! <Yeah. laughs> She's been making it since we were all little and for my mom. And so I'm here to continue on the recipe and show you all how yeah, to make it's it. Yeah, I didn't make it. It skipped a generation, <laughs> but I want to make sure that Rydell knows how to make it. No, the reason why we're doing this yeah. is so to make sure that it carries on. I want her to know how to make it. So there you have it. Yeah, so that it follows tradition. Yes. What you're gonna need is a lot of sugar. Some sugar. <laughs> Heavy whipping cream. <laughs> Caramel syrup. <laughs> Butter. Cocoa. Some paint brushes. Some, uh, what are these? Walnut pieces, if you like nuts. <laughs> And a wooden spoon, which we don't have yet, so my dad's at the store right now getting it for us. Okay, so sometimes you add walnuts if you like nuts. If you don't like nuts, you don't have to put walnuts in it. But they're so good with walnuts. Yes. I highly recommend it. But we're going to do one without walnuts, one with walnuts. Yeah, because I don't, I don't personally like the walnuts in it, but most people do. Yes. That makes it your so dad, good. Your dad will like walnuts in it. Yeah. So we got our pan right here. You want a completely dry pan. Yes. No water. No residue. Clean, Pass, dry. Cannot have an ounce, sprinkle, no water touching the pan. So we gotta dry it real good. We had to turn the air up because Mark Lynch keeps turning it down. And again, you cannot make fudge if it's super hot. One very important thing we also forgot to mention is you have to have marble of some sort. Could be a marble countertop. You could have like a marble slab. Yeah, like you can go buy. Do. You can buy a marble slab at um, like a, a kitchen store, store hardware store. Yeah. And then you whip that out, it has to be cold. So um, she's gonna start putting ice on the marble to get it nice and cold. But the fudge will not set unless it's cold. Yeah. You might be thinking I'm just gonna buy fudge at the store. It will not taste this good. <laughs> this is like a process. First thing we're gonna do is you're gonna butter the sides of the pan. Just all the way around with your stick of butter. Let me show you guys what I'm so doing So not here. on the bottom, just all on the sides. <laughs> Butter the sides, nice and good. Yeah, like a lot of thick butter. We have buttered the sides. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So now we're gonna put all the ingredients into the pot that we just buttered. And once you put them in, you do not touch, stir, or anything. So you can't put everything in, mix it together. You just pour it in and leave it as is. That's very important. I'm gonna turn the pan on to a, a medium heat. Four cups of sugar. I'm going in. Oh, this is heavy sugar. <laughs> it's almost as much as Bader weighs. Then a half cup of cocoa. One half cup coming up. I need a spoon. <laughs> uh, all right, half cup cocoa. Perfect. We clean as we go. We clean as we go. We're gonna do two cups of cream and two cups. That looks gorgeous. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, this is what it looks like so far. Not mixing it. As you can see, everything's just sitting in there. Mama okay. works in bloops. So one bloop of corn syrup. And a bloop means you just go bloop, <laughs> and then that's it. One bloop of corn syrup coming right up. Are you guys ready for this? Bloop. That's it. <laughs> now that everything's in there, all we, we have do is wait. Medium heat. Yep, medium heat. Uh, we're going to get a cup of hot water ready. And cold. Oh, cold. I got the cold <laughs> Mamu just informed us that the most important thing is you cannot let the fudge or sugar crystallize in the pan. Okay? So that means you're going to take this paintbrush and a cold cup of water, like so. You dip the paintbrush in the And it doesn't matter how water. much water you have. I'm so sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter how much water you get on the brush because it evaporates as you go around the mm -hmm. pan. 
So you have this with super cold water, you dip this in, and then you go around. We're gonna show you how to do that. Yes. There you go, right out. Before you start doing the paintbrush technique, you can let the fudge sit for about five minutes. But remember, we still have not mixed it. So we're gonna let it sit for five minutes. five minutes and then you're going to do the paintbrush thing very often like every two minutes yes just like paint zoop 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 it's really not a paintbrush it's just a it's a baking it's brush it's just a brush and did you buy it at well, a paint it store? Looks like no. It. no it's a it's a baster it's called a baster i was just informed from um my colleagues over there by off camera no no it's called a, i knew that this I is a, that base, a, a baster well, it's a baster this is a baster not a paintbrush because I got it from the cooking store, not the hardware store. That's so right. you can't just go into your garage and grab a paintbrush from your if dad's If you clean tools. it really good, you can maybe yeah, use it. Maybe. Okay, while we're waiting for that to come to a boil, we're going to get the nuts ready. We're going to chop them up really small. They're already in pieces, but we want them to be tinier. <laughs> we're going to let the mixture come to a very slight boil. And that's when you know it's time to start using the non paint brush <laughs> what's it called just the brush a buster Bruster? a brush a brush just a no brush but, the sides so what'd you call it baster isn't a baster like a turkey baster where you squeeze that in? and you'll notice that the mixture kind of starts to like mix on its own so remember don't stir it all right guys i'm going to do my first paint brush run through remember we have cold water here <laughs> Okay, are you ready? It's coming to a slight boil, which is perfect. And then you go, and then you do this. Very nice work, lady. Perfect. After you do it once, you're gonna dump this out and get clean, cold water every, every single, single time. time. Jinx. Oh, you owe me a Pepsi and I need one. Remember, you guys, you want your marble really cold, so we just decided to put this entire bag of ice on the marble. You also need some wax paper because that's what we're gonna sit the fudge on when it's finished and wrap it in that. So I'm going to pre-rip these about this size and lay them aside because everything needs to be ready. Because once the fudge is done, you gotta work real quick. These are the stages of the fudge being mixed on its own. So how you test if the fudge is done, you guys, come on in, <laughs> is you take your wooden spoon and you get like a little scoop of it out. And of fudge. You, of fudge. <laughs> and you drip it in the water and you're waiting for it to form a firm ball of sorts. So it's literally just like mush right now. It won't even form to anything, so it's not even close to done yet. And while you're waiting for that to happen, you still are continuing with the paintbrush. And do not rinse your wooden spoon after you're dipping it. Just leave it, just dip it and leave it. This is time consuming. It's not like something that you, you know, you throw together. This is like a fun, learning how to do it. It's a fun adventure because this takes a long time. All right guys, so how you know the fudge is getting closer to being done is the bubbles will keep getting bigger and bigger. And when they're like, poo, 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 really big bubbles, then it's probably done. And that's when you do the little wooden spoon in the water testing situation. Okay guys, I'm just drying all the excess water off, making sure it's a clean, dry surface. And it's go time. When it's go time, it's go time. <laughs> right, I'm going to show you. Wait, right now. Show them what? what it looks like. I got the cup ready. Okay, here. Here we go. So you just go like this. Just scooping it in the cold water. It's ready to go in the cold water. We're going to show you it forming. And it's ready to go. And see. All right, so she's kind of rolling it into a ball. <laughs> see, it's okay, all it's ready to form. Okay, see how it's like formed and mushy? See, I can make a ball. Okay, boom, go, 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 go. So this goes on your cold counter and you don't scrape the bowl, you don't do anything, you just pour it. So we let this sit for a minute and it starts getting these little tiny bubbles around it and then we go cha 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 and we beat it. We beat it like old fashioned candy. When it's cool to the touch, that's when you start beating it. it takes a little while. So this is why we get this so cold, because it helps it. Ooh, and it feels nice and cold. This took a okay. very long time because we've never made it in that type of pan Almost before. Like around. What? <laughs> <laughs> so this is 
is the problem. Are you guys listening very carefully? The main I go, to I, yeah, I go down, I put the air on super high. I have the ice, I have it all ready for right now like to show 65 up. 65 degrees, so it's cold, great. awesome. Then Mark Lynch walks by the air, turns it off. Turns it at 80. So then we go back, I go, Mark Lynch, turn it back on. Three times this happened. Then I called him, I said, if you touch the air one more time, we, yeah, we you can. don't get any fudge. Yeah. And he so loves this fudge. So. so that's what happened. Make sure your house is cool. Yeah. Just like And we don't have Mark there to turn down the air. <laughs> okay, so now this is the very hard part. Rocky, be quiet! We're gonna scoop this all around. Oh, I forgot to tell you how you know when it's done. It's cool it's to just, the touch. It's cool it's like to the cool touch. touch. You guys, my nails look better than right nails today. I know, I'm sorry, I didn't have time today. So I'm gonna scoop all this together. This, this gives you a workout, by the yeah. way. So you have you to, don't have to do your exercise. You have to take turns. Ooh. This looks beautiful. It's all glossy. Yeah, you're trying to get the sheen off of it. Yeah, so right? you, that's how you know it's done, is you beat it until it like has no gloss. All right, is that good, ma'am? And then you go like this. Beat, 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 beat. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna applause from Anna. Go, yeah. right now, go. Actually, we're, Rocky, can you come for a minute? Can yeah. you come beat this? My hand already hurts. Rocky, come give us a turn, baby. Yes, underwear and all. Come on. Yep, underwear model. Magic Mike Okay. So let's send this to Magic Mike 3. <laughs> Ready? You're gonna go. You've done. You like this, look. From the cabin, remember? We go, do, do. When you said beat it, I thought y'all were literally in here just like, bah, bah. <laughs> No, you gotta do bigger. Uh, lift it, you gotta lift it to oh. get. So the, the reason we're doing this is we're trying to get didn't air. Tell me that. We're trying to get like air in the fudge. So you lift it and like let it breathe. Yes. Then you scoop it around. Okay, here, my turn. All right, I'm good job. Clearly, need to go back to the studio, right? Yeah, I like your song you're making. Sound like I'm on this like their like their kid is actually not good or something. I like, great so song. Great. <laughs> yeah, I love the song you're making. Keep up the great work. Keep it positive. Hey, positiveness all the time. Here we go. That's right. Oh, look at that sounding good. Yep, it does sound good. We like the bubbles. Bubbles are good. Pop, pop, pop. All right. So while she does that, I'm gonna have the butter ready because once. We're done with this and the shine is gone. We're gonna slap our hands in butter and cold water. And that's how we like roll the fudge. Okay, so there's probably a ton of recipes online. You can probably Google this. You can buy fudge at the store. I'm telling you right now, this is so much fun to do. And it let's, tastes way Let's better. bring some old fashioned things back. <laughs> let's cook at home with our families. The thing is, when you make something at home, you have conversation, you have laughs, you have memories. And then you get to eat good stuff. Yeah, it tastes better. Yeah. That sounds amazing. Yeah, we're doing great, <laughs> girls. The key, I think, was having this marble super cold. Another tip that I didn't mention is you don't, you can't use any metal on the fudge. So no metal spoons, no metal forks. It, it creates a reaction of some sort, says man. So only a wooden spoon or like a plastic okay, spoon. Okay, this is your turn. My turn, I'm ready. Go, girl, go. You're like a professional in that. <laughs> Nanu taught you good, sissy. <laughs> the thing that I wanted for Rydell is I wanted her to know how to do everything. So she would want to do something, I would make her do it. Good job, sissy. So what I'm excited about is that Rydell can make this with her children. <laughs> I'm excited that Rydell can show her kids, her kids can show their kids if people still want to spend <laughs> 10 hours making fudge. I would make fudge every day because you get to be together. So now we're going to add the nuts. We're gonna because it's almost like it's completely all, Yeah, normal, it's almost so. done. I don't want to add too many nuts. That's good. <laughs> I know, I just, I just realized that when the nuts went flying. Mmm, <laughs> I love, oh, I'm so happy 
You got outvoted. How you know when it's ready is it will be completely dull. The shine will be gone. So you just keep doing this till that is the case. So if your hand's tired and it seems like it's taking a long time, you can just let it sit for a hot second and then keep doing the scoopy thing. But just a couple things really quick. This is ready. Um, this I got this really cute sifter because it was pink. And I feel like before, sometimes you make the fudge, which we didn't do, you can put the cocoa in here and just sift it. So then so you then don't we have, have cocoa chunks. We have a tiny bit of cocoa chunks, mm -hmm. which um, man was a little bit depressed about, but hey, it tastes so good. So I yeah, sift your cocoa before, and then you won't have any chunks. It still tastes amazing, but if you want it to like look chunks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wet our hands with super cold water, put butter on them, and then we're gonna form it <laughs> into like, looking like logs. Listen to me, the most important thing, if you start to form it into like however, whatever shape you want to do, and then if it doesn't form, you could put it back on here for a minute and re. You can always whip it. Do it. Redo it. Put and our hands in butter. butter. What? What are you doing? Get out of here. <sighs> Scoop up a chunk and put it in your hand like this, and we and we you twist it. Twist. You make it. a beautiful twist. thing. Does that look okay? Yes. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Mom, actually, we should have to do it. Mine looks, looks much better. <laughs> no, mine look good. Yours looks horrible. Give me this. This, mine. <laughs> <laughs> Yours looks like a big turd. What? <laughs> <laughs> right now. What? Mine, give me another wax paper. So here we go. I'm going to twist it again. I took mine off. Good thing. It <laughs> you guys, oh, oh. <laughs> you guys, mine looks amazing. Oh my gosh, the best fudge ever. Mama tried to re-roll mine. It looks exactly uh, the same. It looks a little better. Huh? It looks exactly the same. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like right now. They're not completely set yet. I know it kind of looks funny. Once they're set, you're gonna individually wrap them in wax paper, and they will last for. You put them in a ever. cold spot, not cold in the spot. fridge, just a cold spot in your yes. in your kitchen. And then we're gonna sl you slice them. They're delicious, and they come out amazing. They melt in your mouth. I highly recommend this. So much fun, hasn't it? Oh yeah, <laughs> we've had the giggles the whole time, and it was amazing. So I hope you guys try out this recipe. Good luck. It might not, you know, go as planned the first time, but just keep trying it out. You guys are going to love it. Your family's going to love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you so much. And send us pictures when you make the fudge. Yes. Now, we're going to cut the fudge. Oh, oh that looks so good, you guys. Nice for you? No, I ate so much on the... <laughs> I ate so much on oh, the other stuff. Let me just show you guys how this That's cuts. so cute. But it can set just it a little bit longer. It can set longer. I just want to show you guys that it's amazing. It's so good! You want some fudge? Sorry, no, you can't have some fudge.